Thank you and uh, welcome back again to um, another video from trainingright.com. Uh, we are continuing to learn about uh, QTP and uh, this is uh, the second video in the series of uh, learning QTP. In the first video, we did uh, talk about uh, how QTP can be used to, to record a script. I walked you through recording a script on eBay.com and uh, we entered some information like men's uh, Nike shoes and uh, we saw how the script ran. Um, just to jog your memory, here is uh, my script which is going to get executed as you can keep your eye on the left hand side here. Um, this will be running on eBay.com and then it will be typing here. Uh, men's Nike shoes as you would see that there it is and then it's gonna wait for five seconds and uh, we had uh, a redundant um, mm, command in there uh, which is to type again the Nike shoes but it's the vintage Nike, Nike shoes and that's what it did and then waited for like five seconds clicked on that search button and the and the test is uh, finished well uh, so in the previous uh, recording we had introduced uh, ourselves with this command called wait. Wait is going to insert uh, a pause uh, of five seconds uh, between the commands or n number of seconds depending on you know what is that uh, the value of uh, uh, the seconds which you put in here. All right, uh, now we're going to be introducing ourselves to few more VBScript commands. Okay, recall from the previous uh, video that we went into automation and then we said. Uh, um, the settings of uh, eBay.com here. Now, what if if I do not want to do that here, and I want to write that uh, line of code in VBScript? How am I going to do that? So for that, uh, there is a command called um, System Util dot. And as you can see, when you do a System Util dot dot, it uh, drops down uh, a window, and then it shows you what are the different things which you could do in here. And those green little things in here that tells us that these are the methods or or the functions of of this object called system util. Um, so I'm gonna take uh, run as the method. Um, now you you might be wondering like uh, what is he talking about? He's talking about objects and uh, and methods and all that. I'm gonna come to that. Um, I will have a detail. Um, lecture on uh, what is an object and what are the methods of an object and how do we use that. Uh, for now, uh, you know, bear with me when I say that uh, system util is uh, um, an object and run is a method. And then in here, if I say um, the meaning of this is um, I'm, I'm instructing QTP to go and open um, using Windows Explorer. So it is I of oh, Windows Explorer uh, using uh, Internet Explorer.exe, and uh, I'm instructing it to open a site called uh, uh, eBay.com. So the way this is done is through the use of this of this system util dot run iExplorer.exe http www.ebay.com. Now, if we do that then there is no need for us to do this because that would be redundant. So I could come in here and then just say, uh, I don't care uh, what you have in here. I just want to record and run test on any open browser. So apply OK. So now that we have not given us um, inside that settings uh, where to uh, go or, or, or what browser to open. So this is what this command is all about. This command is, OK, system util dot run i explore dot exe and uh, ebay dot com okay with that if i try to run if everything is all right it should it should open up a browser for me there it is and it is taking me to ebay dot com it is typing in here it is going to type uh, men's nike shoes notice now this is a redundant line which i was talking about because it's basically doing the same thing and this time it had typed uh, on you know another uh text um uh, called vintage Ni uh, Nike shoes. Let's say if I don't want to do that, um, you know, oh, it's the script is still running. Everything is run is 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 over now. It, it finished that running of the script. Okay, here it is. This is what I was talking about. This this was more like a redundant thing, right? So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And uh, so this is what it is. Uh, it is going to run the browser, um, open the browser rather, and then go to eBay.com and then type this uh, men's Nike shoes. Now. Um, 
let us go and understand this line of code. What is that line of code? Alrighty. For that, let me bring up um, eBay on the browser, and then uh, um, I'm gonna open up um, eBay here. And uh, oh, there it is. So, in eBay, uh, so this was this, this was the browser. It was coming to this this application, and in that application, what we were doing, we were in this box, in this box, we were typing um what were we typing we were typing something like uh men's here it is men's nike shoes right that's what that's what we were typing so i'm just gonna go back uh to my browser now and try and um do that so it's uh men's uh nike shoes uh, that's what we uh, type um now and then we clicked on this button we clicked on this button right okay now let's go back into qtp and see Okay, so we, according to this line, according to this line, we said, go to, hey browser, go, to, or, or this is the place it would be going because on, uh, we, we told through QT, uh, through QTP that it should go to the browser eBay.com using the Internet Explorer, uh, Explorer browser and go to eBay.com. And once it is on eBay.com, we are saying that, okay, um, on this on this browser, which is at eBay Electronics Cards, I want you to go to a page, that page, and on that page there's something called Web Edit, and then in there I want you to uh, do this men's Nike shoes. Now, wait a second. Now, what is what is what is this, right? And what is that, right? And uh, what is this underscore NKW, right? Uh, I understand the fact that, okay, we are saying that, okay, you know, that part I understand that, okay, you know, you type this in there, right? But the English word here is type, right? Type uh, men's Nike issues. That's what I'm saying in English. But uh, QTP, to QTP, it is like set, right? Set. So we are kind of like setting. Setting what? Men's Nike shoes. Where are we setting that? That we are setting it on something called a web edit. Now the question is, what is a web edit? Now, if we go back in here, if we go back in here, we were we were typing it in this this box, right? So this box, this box where we are we are typing that box to QTP, that box QTP understands this box where you want to type something as a web edit. Why web? Because QTP can do both Windows as well as web right and this is a web application so that's why this is called a web edit if we were testing a windows application that would have been a win win edit so this is a web edit right so when wherever you want to type something wherever you want to type something in a box that box is called a web edit now the question is where is this web edit right this is on this page this is this is on this page this page right this page right okay this page so here going back into QTP when we record it it is saying that see that little dot in here that dot is like hierarchy it is it is saying that um, okay I am supposed to supposed to set QTP is saying that okay I'm supposed to set set this text into this web edit right web edit is that box where you can type now what is this underscore NKW NKW underscore NKW is the name which it has given to that to that text to that box because there could have been more than one box right i mean on this screen right now we are we are we are seeing only as one box for our eye we see it only as a one box but in the code there could be like more than one box so it has to give this box a name so it gave that box a name called underscore nkw right automatically it did that right so that's fine so in our in in our future classes we will be seeing as how to write this code so what what would be the name in here how do we come up with with that name and all that right now understand that uh, it is saying that okay i have to set up uh, or i have to type this which is nothing but setting or set into this web edit which is that box but this web edit where is that it is on a page right it is on a page so we are saying that qtp qtp uh, goes in there and then says okay it has to set this text inside this web edit but the web edit itself is 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 on this page right so what 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 is the name qtp has given to this page right that's what it, it did right it it came up with something called 
uh, eBay, electronics, cars, and all that. That's the name it has given to that to that page, right? But the page itself, if you see this dot, the page itself is a part of this browser. So if you see in here, if you, if you go back to the browser, you see that uh, we start here. This is this is that this is that web edit. Inside the web edit, we are putting this text, and this text is inside the page, and the, the whole page is inside this the whole browser. The whole page in, is in the browser, right? So that's that's how we have to understand uh, any line of code. If you see here, we we say that okay, this is the this is the text it is going to put inside this web edit, which is a box, and this web edit box is inside the page. So it it is giving these names, right? Uh, there is there is a reasoning behind it giving these names. I'll I'll come to that in a second, right? That is that is basically called. Um, you know, putting, you know, uh, giving it those names in what is called an object repository. I will come to that, right? Right now, let's, let's understand the flow. Let's understand the hierarchy. When we are doing something, this is the text which we are putting into or set into this web edit and the web edit is itself is on the page and the page is in the browser. All right. So far, so good. All right. So this line, I guess, is, is all right. Now let's go and take a look into this. Here we are saying that, okay, I am clicking. You're clicking, but you're clicking on what? You're clicking on a, on a web button and the name of the web button, which QTP has given is search. So if I come back and, and take a look here, uh, this is the button, right? Not because you have search written here. That's why it is called the search button, but there is, there is a way QTP QTP addresses or names something, but when it comes to a button, right? When it comes to this box, we call it as web edit, right? When it comes to a button, what do we call it? We call it web button. So I am clicking, we are clicking on this web button. The name of the web button is search, right? And this web button, where is the web button? The web button is on that same page and it is in the in that browser very good and then we said wait for five uh, seconds and then after that this is like syncing syncing is when when you click on that when you click on that when we click on that now it went to a different page right so it went to a different page and if you take a look in here this page this page what you see here nike shoes ebay is different from that page right even though the browser is the same but the page is different well is that the case now if if i do it manually if i go in here i i have this right and when i click on that when i click on that it is it's not it's not the same page anymore it's a it's a different page now it's a different page now right so and that's what it is it is we were saying in here we we're saying that uh but you would say um hey how do you know about that i have to call this uh nike issues no we are not calling it qtp qtp for for whatever the logic of the qtp is which i'm going to explain it to you uh very soon and you will get it like 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 a piece of cake it is so easy but for now just understand that qtp names that page because that's another page as, as something different from this page right but uh, it's still a part of the same browser because in, the, in that browser and then it waits there for two seconds and then it basically closes closes the browser notice that close all tabs meaning that it just you know doesn't care uh, what tabs are open or what page is open it just closes everything all right so i basically parsed these lines for you so far right okay now let us let us quickly see right what happens if i if i made you know if i just go in there and then in the place of that w if i just just I remove that W right accidentally intentionally unintentionally whatever the reason is I did that right now Let us run and see what happens now now everything everything to the naked eye Everything pretty much looks the same like okay system util dot run Okay, you're saying that hey QTP go and open Internet Explorer and then take me to eBay.com It is going to do that now. You are saying that okay put this men's Nike shoes uh, as the text into this web edit who is underscore NK now let's see if it does that or not, right? Because uh, there was something else before, and then I removed that and put uh, that. So let right, right there, it comes back and then tells me something. It did open the browser though, right? As you can see, it did open the browser, right? eBay.com, it did open that. But 
whoa, it came back and then it, it is telling me something about run error. And it says the underscore NK web edit object was not found in the object repository. I want you to read it again, right? Okay, what you see here, you, you, this, this thing which is coming back is the best thing which could happen for us to fix the problems. If down the road, we, if we ever get into any problems, uh, and if you wanna find out what is the solution to this, you have to read and understand this, this dialog box, which is coming back. This is nothing but our friend. It is trying to talk to us and tell us that, um, look, uh, QTP is telling us uh, through this box. It is saying that yeah, I cannot, I cannot go any further because uh, something wrong had happened here. And then it is telling us what wrong had happened. So it is trying to talk to us in a way. Now we have to understand what this is, right? So it is very in the very first line. It is saying that the underscore nk web edit object was not found in the object repository. Okay, first of all underscore nk web edit object well what is that um if you see that is this underscore nk so it is saying that this this one was not found in the object repository now you might say that what is an object repository i mean i is is this an object repository or is this i mean what is this so basically what object repository is now we will come to that and I'm going to explain you what it, what exactly the object repository is. Uh, but if you see these options we have, we have four options. Either I can stop this test from executing it, um, you know, further, which I guess should be doing because what's the point? Like, we, you know, why, why would we execute the test if it is failing right here? But if you want to retry, I mean, how, how are times you want to retry? It is going to be the same error, right? Retry, retry. Or you could skip it or, or you could debug it, right? Uh, right now, I don't want to get into the debug, right? Uh, in our previous uh, videos of learning VBScript, I have taken you into the debug mode. I've talked uh, at length about, you know, what is um, debugging and I took you into different uh, areas or different ways of you could be debugging by attaching um to the watch window which is which is down here you could attach something so so right now we are not doing that uh, but down the road we will we have to do debugging but right now i just want to show you how to fix this problem and uh, i will introduce you to what is called object repository all right so i want to keep my um my presentation uh to be around like uh 10 minutes or so um because of the restrictions on youtube and uh uh, the other sites where I post it. Um, so the solution to this would be uh, discussed in our future video. Uh, for those of you who are um, who cannot wait, uh, this is where you, we would be going in our next video, which is the object repository. When I go into the object repository, this is what I will be walking you through. Uh, this is what I will be showing you. This is that object. Uh, the object is named as underscore NKW underscore nkw and here we have just underscore nk so we got to go and then see as how we're going to be fixing it and that is exactly what i'm going to be showing you in my next video again thank you so much for being a part of this video and uh i hope to see you in another video meanwhile if this is what you would like to um continue to learn go to our site which is trainingright.com um, go to this free Q2P videos, take a look into what free, what we have there. If this generates any interest in you and if you want to take the course, uh, then contact us at sales at trainingright.com or call us if you're in uh, United States, uh, call us at 732-998-6650. Um, till we see in the next video, um, be safe, um, take care of yourself, and uh, I'll be coming back very soon with my next video. Thank you.